This is Chris Country Weekly. My name is Chris Stevens. Let's have the second part of our interview with Dan and Shay, including an acoustic performance. Dan and Shay talking to Chris Country. Chris Country. How do you do the difficult second album? <laughs> it's tough, man. It's crazy. You're at a different point in your life, and you know you're on the road so much. We tour, you know, like a rock band. We tour 250 plus days out of the year, and uh, you know the second record. We actually never stopped writing after the first one, which helped and it put us in a good position going into recording the second one and uh, you know we feel like we stepped up our songwriting and, and matured as people we're kind of in a different place in life you know going through different things and that's where we find our inspiration man we just take in you know daily life and we're always trying to be aware and and write songs you know that are that are personal and, and real and emotional and you know that connect with the people who are listening to the music and we feel like you know that translates on this record there's something for everybody on there no matter what you're going through and you know, we feel like we stepped up the audio quality of it too. You know, the first record we made sort of on a laptop in our buddy's basement, just tinkering away and making demos that turned into the album. This one it was cool. We had the opportunity to to go into Oceanway Studios in Nashville, which is you know a beautiful, beautiful place and one of the most world renowned studios out there, and and make make a record with like the best musicians you know that we had the opportunity to play with. It was insane. You know, the the talent who played on on this record and the talent floating around Nashville. So. We kind of, you know, it was a dream record for us to make, you know, being in the room, being surrounded by so many fantastic players, it was crazy. So we're proud of the way it turned out and the fans have been receiving it really well. And and the fans over here are incredible. They know every single word to every single song. Well, you've been putting loads of videos on Facebook of the gigs here in the UK. And, <laughs> um, you know, you keep, you keep going quiet on stage and they continue singing the songs. Um, and, you know, that's, that's a sign of some really enthusiastic cool fans that are loving what you're doing it is man it's it's crazy to see the reaction over here and to be able to i mean never we've never been here obviously before and uh to come over here across the pond and and sell out these shows has been just the craziest thing for us because you know seeing you know remembering where we wrote those songs and just such humble beginnings and then being just completely across the world and having all those people sing back your words is just an incredible feeling for us so the fans here have just been absolutely amazing and we just we can't thank them enough for I mean just all the love that you guys have, have all uh, shown us it's been crazy and the entire tour sold out absolutely man that was insane to see you know it's kind of nerve wracking when we've never been here before or when you book any tour you know in general but you know especially when you're going on a long flight you know to another country and uh, it was just insane to see those shows they sold out quickly too which was just amazing and we got to come back it's a sign we got to come back so we'll be You've back got soon it. that's no, right absolutely yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah I see there's a guitar here. Uh, I know from YouTube, you must take that guitar everywhere. It's um, <laughs> if you if you look at the case out there, you'll know. Yes, we do take it everywhere. It's not in great shape. Uh, does that mean we can get a song? Absolutely, man. Let's do it. Cool. Uh, let's do one off Obsessed. What do you want to play for us? Absolutely. Let's play a song called uh, "How Not To." This is actually our, our next single. Great. This is this has just gone onto our new music list as well. Awesome. So uh, we're playing that. Um, but let's hear it uh, stripped down and bare. Uh, this is "How Not To." Dan and Shane. I can honestly understand why it's over I can go through the motions of walking away I can give you the key and take my things back I can find plenty of things to fill my days But I don't know how not to think about you when it's late at night and quiet And I know that I ought to be the one who is strong and just moves on But I'd probably turn down your road and knock, knock on your door Fall back in your arms, wake up in the morning Hating myself in the way that I can't help The way I still want you I just don't know how not to How not to, how not to I just don't know how not to, how not to, how not to You're like second nature, baby, you're just like breathing A melody that you hear and you can't forget And time goes by and I still need 
Yeah, you wear it the heartbreak and the regret But I don't know how not to think about you When it's late at night and quiet And I know that I ought to be the one who is strong and just moves on But I probably turn down your road, knock, knock on your door I fall back in your arms, wake up in the morning Hating myself in the way that I can't help The way I still want you I just don't know how not to, how not to, how not to. I just don't know how not to, how not to, how not to. I don't know how not to think about you when it's late at night and quiet. And I know that I ought to be the one who is strong and just moves on. I probably turn out your road and I on your door, fall back in your arms, wake up in the morning, hating myself in the way that I can't help, the way I still want you, I just don't know how not to, how not to, how not to, I just don't know how not to, how not to, how not to. That is how not to. Thank you so much for playing that as well. Of course, man. Thanks for letting us play. It's oh, fun. no worries. No worries at all. Um, that's off Obsessed, uh, which also has the previous single from the ground up as well, uh, which we've been getting a brilliant reaction to. Um, in fact, we've had people over the last couple of weeks getting in touch saying, you've got to find some more tickets for these gigs. We want to go to these gigs. We hadn't realized <laughs> the Dan and Shay were coming over. So there's definitely appetite for another another tour at some point. That's awesome, man. That's cool to hear. And, and uh, you know, some of the rooms have been kind of small and they sold out quickly. So it gives us a room, you know, to, to move up and to step it up next time. And, uh, you know, shout out to the people who got those tickets early. That's really cool. And it was a cool, intimate moment for us to be able to, we just brought an acoustic guitar and it was one big sing-along at every show. So, you know, it was really fun for us. But hopefully next time we could step it up and invite some a couple more fans. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to that. Um, Obsessed is out now, but I'm guessing... You've started writing a few things for album number three? Absolutely, man. You know, we never stopped writing. I think after the first record, <laughs> we just kept writing. And I think a lot of those songs turned into the, the second record. And uh, we're always writing. Uh, we never never stopped since the first day that, you know, after we met. And uh, we just love doing that. We love writing. That's I mean, that's a huge passion of ours, just to write country music. And, and we try to write for other people as well. And we're on the road. We try to write as much as we can. And when we're home, and always working. And uh, But it's it's not ever really work, you know, because we love what we do. And... We love getting to get out here and to see the fans and to be able to play these these songs that we've written. So, yeah, man, it's it's a good time. Plus, uh, you keep doing little covers on Facebook, <laughs> little, little blasts of, of Marin Morris or Keith Urban, whoever it might be. Um, I, only time I, I'm on Facebook, another video seems to pop up of you in in the back room of a venue somewhere or on the road <laughs> or whatever it might be. Um, so, so which artists uh, do you enjoy listening to? Which ones are, uh, inspire you when you're writing music and performing? Man, we grew up listening to Kenny Chesney and Keith Urban and Tim McGraw and Rascal Flatts and, you know, obviously tons of country stuff. We listen to country radio nonstop, but uh, there's some cool new artists, you know, outside of the country country music genre that are really, you know, awesome that we're listening to. John Bellion, we're obsessed with his music. It's really, really cool. 21 Pilots. There's just, like, so much awesome music out there right now, and it, it's so accessible, too. You know, like you said, on YouTube or, on you know, on streaming services, you can hear stuff. You can just go and you can listen to... A country song or you can listen to a pop song or a rock song and put it on a playlist and it's just so awesome that you know the music is that accessible and allows new artists like us to break in and allows people to hear our music and come out to shows and it's a uh, it's a whole nother world but we're digging it you know it's it's a big help for us well listen guys uh, thank you for coming in uh, spend some time with us really appreciate that thank you for coming to the UK as well of we, we're just <laughs> lapping up any country music we can get which is like bring it on we'll take as much as we can get um, let's end by playing uh, the previous single from the ground up tell us a little bit about this song yeah man this song is definitely the most special song we've ever written Dan and I wrote this about our grandparents who were both together for over 65 years which is you know you don't see that a lot uh, nowadays with all the distractions and things it's hard to stay with one person you know for that long but uh, that's what we strive to do in our own personal relationships and whatnot. And 
This is just, uh, I think, a testament to true love, and it's been awesome to hear the stories of people using this as their first dance song and you know, having it as, as their wedding song and whatnot. But we're just so proud of this song, and uh, it's, uh, it's been touching a lot of people. So awesome to hear the reactions, and we love hearing stories. So yeah, this is From the Ground Up. Brilliant. Dan, Shay, thank you so much for coming to the UK. Thank you for coming into Chris Country as well. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks, man. See you soon.